The Reverend Dr. William Barber has come to embody any sort of resistance movement in North Carolina. He's fought against House Bill 2, voter ID restrictions, and gerrymandering. But tonight, the head of the state NAACP says he's ready to start a new chapter. Our Bo Minnick has been covering Reverend Barber for years and joins us live from Durham with more on the impacts this decision is having. Bo. Sharon, Reverend Barber certainly has been the leader of the Moral Monday movement in recent years. There are those who support him and those who don't, and his supporters say he has helped put some North Carolina issues on the national stage. From Medicaid expansion to protecting voters' rights, the Moral Monday movement and its leaders have actively advocated for change in North Carolina. Those close to Reverend William Barber say he has helped carry that movement forward. He has been a lifesaver for North Carolina. He breathed uh, new life into the uh, NAACP. Barber announced he will step down as state NAACP president in June, a position he's held for more than a decade. Barber will organize a poor people's campaign focused Focused on addressing poverty and other issues in Washington, D.C., and 25 states across the country. He's brought forth a kind of fusion politics between a coalition of people white folks, black folks, gay folks, straight folks, religious folks, folks who don't believe in religion. On the national stage, Barber was one of the speakers at the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia last year. His supporters say replacing him as the head of the state NAACP won't be easy. Clearly, we won't have the uh, charisma, but uh, his charisma was built in large part on the uh, bodies of a whole team of people. Barber will remain on the NAACP's National Board of Directors. And from the other side of the aisle, Republican Senate President Pro Tem Phil Berger said back in 2014 that the Moral Monday agenda at that time would have cost the state about $7 billion, something that Reverend Barber disputed. Barber will speak about his decision to step down on Monday. Live in Durham, Bo Minnick, CBS, North Carolina.